Hi, you're watching Hindustan Times and I am Aditi Prasad. The first dose of the Russia made Sputnik V vaccine was administered in Hyderabad today. Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, which is manufacturing the vaccine in India, has said that an imported dose of the vaccine is going to cost. 995 rupees in India. The made in India version, which is likely to come in the next, over the next couple of months, is likely to be much, much cheaper. For those planning their first jab soon, just a quick word on the efficacy of the three vaccines now available in India. Now, Sputnik V, which is the third vaccine to be approved for use here, has an efficacy of 91%. In comparison, Covaxin is over 81% effective, while Covishield has over 70% efficacy, which can be further pushed up to 80% if the doses are spaced 12 weeks apart. But even with the addition of Sputnik V in India's vaccine arsenal, the fact remains that India is woefully behind in jabbing its entire population. An absolute necessity if we are to duck the impact of a potential third COVID wave. And while there is no doubt that vaccinating such large numbers in the span of a few months is a challenging task, experts that I have spoken with have universally stated that better planning, advanced procurements, ramping up domestic production could have saved us the headache and the heartache over vaccine shortage over the last several weeks. Now, India opened up vaccinations for some 960 million eligible citizens on May 1st without having anything close to the required supply, which was 1.8 billion doses. But while we are facing a shortage now, there is at least a glimmer of hope at the end of this tunnel, although a few months down the line. The government has unveiled a roadmap for the availability of vaccines in India, saying that a staggering 216 crore or 2.16 billion doses will be available between August and December this year. Now, it's a little late in the day, but at least it shows that the government has started thinking of ways to address the shortage. Let me divide up this supply side boost planned by the government into three parts and explain the ray of hope and also give a reality check now, the first is ramping up production of vaccines within India. Both Bharat Biotech and the Serum Institute of India, which, uh, which manufactures Covishield, are ramping up production. As per their submissions to the government, 750 million doses of Covishield and 550 million doses of Covaxin will be made available between August and December in India. As of date, they are producing about 60 million and 50 million doses a month, respectively. Now, in addition, from August, Dr. Reddy's laboratories will add another 150 million doses of Sputnik V. Uh, again, this is between August and December. Now, this totals up to 1.45 billion vaccine doses, guaranteed on paper at least, till the end of this year. But here's the reality check. Even within these, the government must ensure transparency in the monthly availability. So may have even called for a weekly availability of vaccines for domestic market. Now, the availability of these increased doses uh, for the domestic market depends on one, wrapping up of production facilities uh, to desired capacities, which both Bharat Biotech and Serum Institute have assured. And secondly, on the availability in the domestic market. For instance, we know that Serum Institute of India also has a, a lot of export commitments based on prior orders, including for the Global Vaccine Alliance to deliver for low and middle income countries. Secondly, there are five more vaccines that the government is hoping to get in India before August. Now, these are BioE, Zydus Cadilla, SII Novavax, BB Nasal, and Genova. All their vaccine candidates are currently in various phases of clinical trials. If all goes well, India can expect some additional 700 million doses from these vaccine candidates between August and December. Operative word is, however, if all goes well. Biological E subunit vaccine will provide 300 million doses by the end of the year, depending on the outcome of the third phase of trial. Now, Niti Aayog member VK Paul, while announcing this, himself admitted that there is a chance that this may not happen, but work is going on. Similarly, Zytus Cadillac's DNA vaccine candidate is also in its phase three trials, and approvals are pending for SII's Novavax vaccine. Bharat Biotech's BB nasal vaccine and Genova's mRNA vaccine candidate are both in phase one or two of clinical trials.
Now, thirdly, let's talk about foreign vaccines. Now, they also may become available in India soon. The government has outlined that it is in talks with Moderna, with Pfizer, with Johnson & Johnson all the same. But here's a reality check. India is already on the back of the queue for these global pharmaceutical giants due to uh, their own advanced vaccine commitments to other countries. Now, Dr. V.K. Paul has said that Pfizer and Moderna would talk of vaccine availability with India uh, only in quarter three of 2021. Now, these, if these big giants really talk to India in quarter three, vaccine availability will take at least a few months to become a reality. That's all for now. Stay tuned to HindustanTimes.com for all the latest updates. Do press on the bell icon uh, below so that you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and never miss an update from HindustanTimes.com.